And this is the recap of a long baseball game. 430 some odd pitches later. Padres and Dodgers closing out their four game series in LA. Fast forward to the ninth inning. After the Padres trailed 7-1, it's now 7-5. And Fernando Tatis Jr., who homered again tonight, delivers an RBI single, tying run, or rather single, tying run is on first. Next batter, Trent Grisham. Slap happy to left, Victor Caratini scores. It's now a 7-6 game. Manny Machado up next. The shift is on, and he hits against the shift. Tatis Jr. comes in to score. Padres come down from 7-1 down, tie the game at 7. Kenley Jansen unable to pitch after the four-out save on Saturday. Now, bottom of the ninth, man on for Corey Seager. He flies out to left, so we go to extras. Top of the 10th inning, men on second and third. Remember, they start with the runner on second. Tatis Jr., a chance to play hero. Instead, Jimmy Nelson gets him swinging. With the cheese, we go to the bottom of the inning. Base is loaded. They call on the pinch hitter, Clayton Kershaw. Sixth career pinch hit appearance. He never had a hit as a pinch hitter, and he didn't get up to that one. Tim Hill, swing and a miss. Next up, DJ Peters, full count. The local boy, unable to catch that. We go to the 11th inning. Runners on second and third. One out, Eric Hosmer. Doesn't quite get enough of it, but he gets enough of it, if you know what I mean. Tatis Jr. comes in to score on the RBI sack fly. It's now 8-7, where it was bottom 11. Men on first and second, two out. Seager to guess who? Tatis Jr. to put this one away. And in 11, five hours deep into this one, the Padres win it by a final of 8-7. With the win on Sunday, the Padres lead the season series four games to three. All but six innings have seen the score stay within two runs. It's the first time the Dodgers led by six and lost since August 2011. They had won 228 games in a row with a six-run lead.